Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Donald G. Macdonald of Portree Free Church of Scotland, the Isle of Skye. Presiding officer, uh, members of the Scottish Parliament, ladies and gentlemen. I've uh, just come down from the Isle of Skye and I'm no very big and I am awfully shy. And the lassies shout as I go by, well, nothing really, because they wouldn't even notice me despite this gladiatorial physique and these George Clooney looks. But unnoticed is uh, how those of us who live on the geographical margins of our nation sometimes feel, perhaps even unimportant compared to the main centres of population which we occasionally get to visit. However, people don't have to live in sky or in other remote parts of Scotland to feel marginalised. There are those who are on the margins economically, struggling to make ends meet, dependent on food banks and worried about accommodation and rent. There are those in the margins of society whose lives, for all sorts of reasons, have spiralled down and they feel lost. There are those in the margins of life. At the one end, the unborn child, helpless and vulnerable, and at the other end, the ill and the elderly, lonely and fearful. There are those in the margins of ability, struggling to do what many take for granted because of their physical uh, limitations or mental health challenges, and there are those who feel increasingly marginalised because of faith. Jesus told a trilogy of stories that stressed the importance of the one and the importance of everyone. A farmer, he said, had a hundred sheep. One went missing, but that one was important and he searched for it until he found it. A woman had 10 coins. One was lost, but that one was important. And so she scoured the house until she retrieved it. A man had two sons. One left home and his life spiraled down, but the father could not settle until he returned and was restored for that one son was important. Jesus constantly reminds us of the importance of the one and the importance of everyone. In his own ministry, he was more often or not with the ones who were marginalized, the poor, the sick, the broken, the foreigner, the young, the old, the lost. And he treated as precious those who had been sidelined in society. This great parliament has to legislate in the interests of the greater good of Scotland. But as it does so, may it never forget the impact that legislation has on the one and the importance of everyone, even those on the margins who often feel forgotten, sidelined and unseen. And now I'm disappearing back to the beautiful margins of the Isle of Skye, still no very big and still awfully shy, but grateful for the opportunity to address you here today and praying that you as our parliament will ever know God's guidance and blessing. However, as I return to Sky, I do so saddened at the news of the passing of one man who was recognised as a great servant to the Highlands of Scotland, Charles Kennedy, and I am sure that the thoughts and prayers of many are with his family today. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Thank you. The next item of business is topical questions. Question one, Sandra White. Thank you very much, President.